Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make fried catfish. Now I am sorry about the video flashing, I didn't know this was happening. While I was recording, I'm not sure what's going on. But the first thing I did was take a cup of milk and add a tablespoon of white vinegar just to make sour milk. Now you want to sit for 10 minutes before you start dipping it. And of course while it sets, you want to get the mixture ready. Now I'm using a cup of cornmeal. And again, I am sorry about the flashing. Just want to use a cup and a cup of whole-purpose flour, all-purpose flour. Just give it a shake. Add some salt. Add some pepper. Now you want to do the spice mixture. Now I'm just using cumin, cayenne, paprika, and turmeric. Should have got a bigger measuring cup. Now just mix it together until it's well combined. Add a bit more cayenne, a bit more paprika. I think it was enough. I see the flashing stopped, thank goodness. Now you just want to take the catfish. Pop it in a bowl. Pour in the milk. Let it soak for like another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take it out of the milk. And I just poured the spider mixture on the top of it. And I moved it around, shaked it around so it gets evenly coated as much as possible. Doesn't be too perfect. That's it for a little while too. Drift it back through the milk a bit. Now I'm trying to use this shaker thingamajig to coat the fish, but it didn't work out too well as you can see. I didn't really like it. And it's kind of messy. Flour going everywhere whenever I open it. So I gave up on it. Do the shit in the sink and just do it the old fashioned way. Just want to dredge it. Now I use a double hand method one hand for the wet ingredients, one hand for the dry. This way you don't get club hand. As you see here, dredging the milk with the right hand. Now I'm using my left hand instead. Using the right hand to cover it in. Left hand to dredge. Right hand to cover in flour. And of course you want to repeat this step. This way your hands don't get too dirty. And too clubby. Because you don't want that club hand. And keep repeating the step over and over again until all the fish is nice and coated. Of course, now you want to let the fish sit for like 10 minutes for everything to settle and for the flour to harden and make it kind of like glue so it sticks and doesn't come off the fish. And of course, you want to get your oil ready up to 375 degrees and put the fish in. Now, this takes up 2 to 3 minutes to fry or even less depending on the size of the fish. Now here I actually touched the oil, so you always want to be careful when you're frying food. Because it is hot, and it will burn, and it's quite painful. So now you just want to keep frying the fish until it's all done. And there you go, you got yourself some nice tasty fried catfish. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed the food. Thank you for watching.